Most people are born alone, but not me. I was born with a twin brother, and he came three minutes before me. Most people, they say, will die alone, and I will die without my brother because he passed away. He suffered from schizophrenia. There's no way to know that suddenly your child is going to change, that one day you're going to watch your child slowly over time become insane. Someone gets a diagnosis of schizophrenia and you don't know the first thing about it. And you're so sad. And I remember sitting there just crying and crying because I thought, what could be happening here? I mean, how could this be happening? To realize that your son's life will never be the same and neither will yours. Little did we know as we took that last photograph of him in the morning that day that he would pass away that evening. The research that we're doing in the Schizophrenia Research Institute on the causes of schizophrenia is critical if we're to develop new therapies that really treat the root of the problem. Without that, we will not be able to cure this disease. We need to understand how the brain develops through embryonic uh, fetal and life through childhood and adolescence in order to understand how that goes wrong and it becomes abnormal in schizophrenia. Traditional antipsychotic medications have been very effective uh, in the treatment of delusions and hallucinations, but they do almost nothing for the intellectual impairments and the loss of function that accounts for so much disability in schizophrenia. I was diagnosed with schizophrenia at age 24, and that was the worst night of my life. We forget to peel away the schizophrenia and look at the core of the person and try to understand there's a person in there that desperately wants to be normal. One of the most important things to realize about schizophrenia is there's multiple causes. We've got to do a lot of research to figure out what these multiple causes are, who suffers from schizophrenia, for which reasons. And it's only through this improved understanding and this appreciation of the heterogeneity that we're going to advance the treatment and find the cures. She understands, and I think it may be in part because I represent what her brother represented as well. But maybe I've been able to live my life with a bit more um, alacrity and uh, effectiveness than her brother was able to. In that sense, I'm very, very lucky. My personal quest started almost 30 years ago now. And if we're able to come up with some really important answers, it can help people that suffer from schizophrenia for the rest of time. Uh, if there was a single scientist who was going to make a big difference uh, in unraveling the nature of this condition, it would be her. If we cure this thing, I said, you know, Scott, you're coming with me to tell the world. And he goes, yep, and I'll get up on the podium and I'll say, it was all due to my sister. And I'll say, no, Scott, it was all because of you. To have somebody that, not even to be able to give a chance at a normal life, it's, it just didn't seem fair.